Uh, now, earlier I spoke to Dinesh Chaturvedi, the divisional commissioner and the man in charge of the Kum preparations. I began by asking him that there were clear reports that last minute change in the platform and then a supposed lati charge of the police had led to the stampede. Was there a lati charge or not was the first question I posed. See, the point is that uh, since everything has happened in, within the premises of a railway station, so as a, as a divisional commissioner uh, in charge, I would not like to comment at present unless uh, and until an inquiry is conducted that facts come out of that place. So I would not like to comment. At, it will be a premature comment. Sir, the, 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 the big question, would you agree though that there have been lapses or not? Do you concede that there have been lapses, that there were lapses, they couldn't... I mean, 36 people dying and several injured in hospital today. Yeah, what I could concede is that it is an unfortunate incident which could have been, should have been avoided. But it has, since it has happened, we have to find the causes and also to ensure that it doesn't happen in future. Sir, but would you agree that the administration simply did not admi uh, anticipate the scale of pilgrims coming? Many uh, estimates saying that yesterday there were lakhs and lakhs of people that you did not quite... Uh, estimate the number of people who would be coming there for Moni Amavas? You see, the fact is that uh, we as, as a Kumbh Mela, uh, uh, in charge of Kumbh Mela, uh, within the Mela premises, we were well prepared. We knew that what was the scale in 2001 and 2007 and what would be the scale this time, adding the, uh, the, the general the percentage increase which is projected. And we were prepared with all the, all the logistics there. And as you know that the Slan part, which is the most challenging aspect of the whole Mela, took place with, without any major, uh, there were one or two small incidents, but not major incident, which itself shows that we were prepared and we had done our homework as far as that is concerned. Sir, but the sir, other sir. aspect of evacuation is something which has to be seen. So, so therefore, you are trying to make a distinction, sir, between what happened during the Snan, which went out well, and what happens post the Snan. But the fact is, sir, at the end of the day, you can't have this blame game. There are now basic allegations that people were not taken to hospital in time, medical facilities and aid was, was not provided. Clearly, at one level, the administration didn't appear ready to, uh, w wasn't prepared for, uh, for a stampede of this kind. No, uh, see, I can give you the state government part that as soon as the information was received, our ambulances from the state uh, hospital, from the medical college, uh, Suruprani Hospital, the doctors went and they were finally shifted. Most of the injured were shifted uh, to our uh, district hospitals where they are to be taken care of. Now, the aspect of uh, what were the reasons why immediately there. Uh, uh, this sort of allegations are being made again is a subject matter of inquiry and it will be very premature for me uh, to comment about something which has happened inside the uh, railway station. You know, I, I'll tell you what the big worry is. Uh, 15 February is a, uh, uh, another uh, big uh, snar. I think Basan Panjpi is the administration prepared to handle another major snar on 15 February because there will be the same number of people who will be there at the railway platforms again. No, we are not worried. In fact, uh, we are confident because our snan of 10th February, the snan part, the Mela part, uh, was near flawless. Our earlier snans were also near flawless. Of course, what we have to take care of is that the evacuation plan, in consultation with all the agencies who are responsible for evacuation, is made more foolproof so that such incidents are averted next time. So, but every agency, the worry is that what we've seen for the last 24 hours, every agency seems to be passing the buck to the other. You say that you got your, you got the snan arrangements right, the railways is being questioned for the arrangements they have, they in turn seem to blame the state government, someone blames the centre. What, what purpose, there seems to be just a blame game, sir, passing the buck to the other. See, that's what I, I as, a, as, a, as, a, as a commissioner, will not like to enter into that controversy, number one. Number two, let the inquiry bring out the facts. We, as administrators, are concentrating that the 15th goes off properly and we are able to avert any such incident anywhere in the Mela, outside the Mela, and even the next snan of 25th and then the subsequent snan of 10th March. So uh, our concentration is till the end of Kumbh Mela and let... The, these issues be settled by the inquiry. Okay, but what is the biggest lesson you've learned? Because various theories are doing the rounds. One said first the overbridge, the footbridge had broken. Then there were reports the railing had broken. Then they said the police lati charge. From all these various theories which are doing the rounds, what is the biggest lesson that you are now learning? 
the I mean the biggest lesson is of course the fact that one has to be on alert on air and one has to be on alert on all aspects and to ensure that all loose ends are tied up and to see and to uh, to make it sure that uh, all the departments whether it's state government or central governments take their part so that the mela becomes successful it's always a team a teamwork and it has a team which has to deliver well uh, unfortunately yesterday sir something went horribly wrong at the kumbh but i appreciate your joining us you've also had a very rough day sir